happy kid in her prime. They don't talk, though. Uh, Vida Guerra. Guerra. Yeah, that's Mars's lady. Oh, yeah? You like her, Mars? Yeah, well, sorry. You're not you're not the Puerto Rican she was looking for. <laughs> <laughs> you're not the brown-skinned man she wanted. This no, is Gina's a... half Irish, half black, I think. Yeah. So he looked Puerto Rican. Look. You're right. Uh, Jessica Beal. How do you score an Alba and a Beal? Excuse me. It's amazing. It goes on. It goes on. You've really studied this. No, I just one day I noticed. I go, what's with this Gina? How come A Rod? Was the day A Rod got caught with one stripper in Toronto? Right. Yeah, Which yeah. Any of us could do. Made a I knew like, about it. Gina, A Rod, what a bastard! And Gina's like with six girls. Maybe because he's, he's like, like a guys. royalty. Maybe he's with fucking Hollywood and modeling royalty. And, he's and Gina's married. fucking banging some stripper in a, in a Canadian. There's stripper. a lot of reasons for it, but it is sad that even in, on the field it happens. Gina's yeah. just blessed with a slight. Thing where people love G to he just hate A Rod. Yeah. He just run in front of A Rod every time he makes a play and just take away A Rod's play all the time. Yeah, and then go well, when when A Rod makes a play, she just applauds like, "Good for you, yeah. man!" <laughs> Give him a little <laughs> tussle on top of his hat. <laughs> Make him feel totally See, that's like if Tiger Woods would have just banged Look, celebrities, right. none of that shit would have got out. He's banging yeah, these yeah. little girls are looking for 15 minutes Perkins of fame. Perkins waitresses. Perkins waitress. Uh, who's this? That's the one he's dating seriously that he might get. Like, oh, Minka Kelly? Minka Kelly. That's the one he's been with Minka a couple Kelly. of years. <laughs> there's more. There's more on this list. And who is, who, who is, who is, who is, Joe. What about Scarlett Johansson? Who's that? Uh, oh, no, nah, it's over. That's right. that slideshow. Well, supposedly over. he had that Rachel one, too, that Tiger Woods, the first Rachel, girl oh, that really? came out. That, that one was hot, yeah. Damn. I, you know... I, I just think because, yeah, She's it's... She's a real it's, 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 <laughs> <laughs> I think it's because it's royalty. And and they don't talk. They don't fucking talk about, oh, wow, he smacks me in the face. He likes fucking getting right. his, uh, uh, fucking pinky up his ass or something. You never hear anything about Jeter's like sexual exploits. But then you hear A-Rod with the stripper. You knew what he was in the club. He's, she's sitting on his lap. He's squeezing her tits. You know, whatever's happening. Well, yeah, yeah I think that's wild. She's sitting on his lap. He's squeezing her tits. What is it? I got this. I'm not saying. <laughs> I'm not saying it's it's bad. I'm saying, yeah. I mean, he should get away with Shit, it as much as does, I guess. But there is a reason that no one is able to dig up dirt, and Jeter isn't all over scandal sheets. So I'm nice telling you, the reason stuff. is not because of the, the girls or anything. The reason is because there's just that slight thing yeah. that made Jeter likable that makes A Rod unlikable. And it's affected their whole lives, even though they have these similar careers. Well, Jeter always had, or A Rod always had that thing hanging over his head about making so much goddamn money and yeah. not having the ring. And uh, and Jeter has always been a guy that could perform on the field and, and he always clutch. The field. Yeah, always yeah, yeah. clutch. So yeah, A Rod t t took a lot of shit for that. But then for to have it boil over into, you know, all right, he's fucking a stripper and this one's fucking everyone yes. in Hollywood. Uh, I don't know. I just I don't see him in the scandal sheets as they call them back in the yeah. back in the forties. I like using forties vernacular. <laughs> scandal scandal sheets. sheets. Buy those photos back from him. I want her treated with respect. That's right. I got hey, I got a marijuana bust. You want to come with my brother? <laughs> yes. <laughs> marijuana. He's like, like a marijuana addict. I like confidential. Oh, that's great. <laughs> you recognize me? Mm -hmm. Remember? Because you think I get a part on badge of honor? Sure. <laughs> sure. Mm -hmm. What a great movie. I, I liked, uh, what was that movie with uh, Ben Affleck where he played uh, Superman? He played the actor that played Superman? Right. Yeah. I don't, yeah, know, I don't know what that was. Sure, but I don't know what's going yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. Playing the guitar. And... Yeah, yeah. That part was bullshit. But there was there was a lot of fun kind of old uh, 50s shit with the reporter that had pictures. And right. Shit like that. And it was like so, it was so dirty because it was shape. all forbidden. Yeah. And also uh, the aviator had uh, a scandal going on between Spencer Tracy and... What's her face that was banging? Yeah. And uh, the reporter comes over and is like, you know, I've got these pictures. I'm going to post these. And they, Spencer Trace was married at the time. And he offered him money. Well, offered the uh, reporter money for the pictures and, and then threatened say. him. Hey, he took the money. But it was a good one of those good old film noir scenes where they meet on a bridge with their the brims of their <laughs> yeah. fucking fedoras down. <laughs> what do you got for me? What do you got? But wouldn't the studio take care of that shit in those days? You would think so. I don't know. Scandal sheet. The scandal sheet. Uh, it seems they were fucking everybody, but it never really came out. I think we should do a short film here. Okay. Here comes Clark Abel, walking down the red carpet. Let's Who is he with? <laughs> Who's on his arm? Let's do a short <laughs> film of scandal sheet. Hollywood Land. Yes, Hollywood Land. Let's that was do it. one. Yeah? With Norton as the, uh, 
<laughs> Norton as the what? <laughs> will, will blackmail Norton with pictures of him having missionary style sex with an old human being? <laughs> yeah. How come there's no scandals about Norton coming out like LT with 16 year old prostitutes? And yeah, yeah. That's girls a... coming in a room and pimps. Uh, Guys been getting away. He's, he's New York royalty, Norton. Jimmy is New York <laughs> hooker royalty. He really is. And, and, and he's he's not, uh, there's never been one. No, no, no scandal. He's uh, he's always he a known guy. Before, before anybody he does. He he's tr never tried to keep a secret about his uh, fetishes and what he does with these uh, women for hire. Uh, <laughs> and, and LT, that wow, that situation. Uh, it started out. He raped. A 16-year-old and beat the fuck out of her. Right. That was the first inkling we got of the story. Then it turned into, all right, the pimp beat her up, but he fucked her and paid money. And then it turned out he didn't fuck her. He jerked off in front of her and paid her money, and now he's not going to get uh, nailed for statutory uh, rape. But, uh, I don't know. You're LT. You pay 300 bucks to this girl. You don't know her age, and you don't fuck her. A little fishy to me. Yeah. I think he I think he banged her. And the original story was he did. There was a condom in the fucking Yeah, supposedly there's still yeah, no, there is one. So they'll do DNA testing on that, yeah. see if he did or not. Oh, guys giant giant condom condom I like know. That. Oh, that's fucking one of those goddamn what do they call them? Magnum. Magnums. <laughs> Just a magnum full like a fucking smoothie. Dumped in a magnum. Then <laughs> 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 they had two right. cops to carry it out. <laughs> yeah, they put it in a body bag and wheeled it out <laughs> into an ambulance. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Oh. But yeah, that's uh, that was a tricky little situation for him. A 16-year-old. Ooh. Watch out. Well, what do you do at that point? Because he comes in, he goes, how old is he? He goes, I'm 19. Really? You're not, okay. Yeah. Now at this point, what are you going to do? You have proof of identification. I need two forms and a major credit card. Like in Raging Bull. Can you prove that you're 19? <laughs> She's 19. <laughs> Another kiss is a... <laughs> yeah, yeah. She's 19. <laughs> then he shows the cops coming. Wake up, Jake. He's like, does that look uh, 18 to you? Come on, Jake. Let's go. <laughs> Bring it over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, LT. I don't know. And then, um, what else is going on? Oh, oh, there's this, uh, I guess the president was in Buffalo. Where did he go? He was doing one of those fucking photo ops. This guy cuts the goddamn budget for uh, anti-terrorism in New York by over 25%. Perfect timing. Perfect timing, yeah, because nothing's happening in, in New York. And then he comes for a fucking fundraiser. He comes to the East Coast for a goddamn fundraiser to raise money for Democrats for a... Uh, this disaster of an election they're going to have in uh, November. So he was up in Buffalo, and some fucking uh, cougar, some cougar comes up to him and actually said, what was her line? You're a hottie with a smoking little body. To the uh. president, right to his face. Uh. And, and she gave him a hug. And, and then she's like, oh, I'm a little worried what the first lady's going to think. Uh. <laughs> And there she is, just some Buffalo Betty, some fucking yeah. big-ass cougar, uh, uh, thinking she's going to... And then she said, eat your heart out, Michelle. Like one of her pals are watching, and she's there yeah, virtually sucking the president's dick. Instead of really sucking it like we had with Clinton. Right. Yeah. Those, are, those were the good old days. But just the fact that she's some cougar... Like if the president was able to, to go out and... Maybe do a little banging. I know Clinton liked him a little chubby, but at least they were, she was 22. Right. <laughs> this 44-year-old Buffalo fucking hose bag that's in a, a wing place just happened to be in a wing joint when the president walks in. Tells him, you're a hottie with a smoking little body. It's not even a good line. No, there's always those women out there. Like, they, she thinks, like, oh, he might go. Look what I said to him. Maybe. He's yeah. Like, I have this comedian friend of mine, Joe Howard, from Cleveland. He's married. He's been faithful to his wife for, like, 15 years. And after the show, we're si sighing shit. Girls always, these stupid girls come up go, you know, we asked you to go drinking with us, too, but you're married. He's like... My wife is way hotter than you. Look at a picture of her and look at you. I wasn't even thinking about going out. You know, and like, what do you mean by that? You know, just trying to throw it out like you can't have any because you're married. It's like, I don't want to fuck you anyway. Wow, well, that's a good comeback, though, because he uh, just pulls the wife yeah. out. She's smoking hot. Here, look, this is my wife and look at you. Although, realistically, it never matters if the girl is hotter than who you're with. No, it definitely doesn't. <laughs> yeah. You will fuck a pig. You never get one hotter than your wife anyway. I guess, <laughs> yeah, married. One thing about this guy, Joe Howard, I guess he's not worried about repeat business. <laughs> <laughs> Girls, 
innocently joking drunkenly their big night out in Cleveland. Hey, <laughs> you can't come. <laughs> Fuck you, you pig. You're my wife. <laughs> what a what fucking empty seats next to <laughs> you. He sounds like a real fucking charmer, this guy. Well, he's only a feature, so he doesn't have to worry about drawing right now. He's, he can still piss him off. <laughs> Guys will, though. It doesn't matter. You know, oh. Wife or girlfriend. Just it's just cool all about bastard. the new. The new. We talked about the, the new the other day and, uh, with, with Bobby, because Bobby's in here, and he's. Bobby Kelly is a happily married man. He just discusses how happy he is, and, and uh, there's a guy that had to go through four years of therapy to stop fucking anything that moved, uh, aside from who he was in a relationship.